Now I'm a die-hard Apple fan, if you haven't guessed already by the videos on my channel. But the Google Pixel? This is a really nice phone. And the Android OS on here is so sleek. If you're considering a Google Pixel, stick around to find out an Apple fan's opinion. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Now as you can tell by the videos here, I'm an Apple fan. I'm in their ecosystem and I'm happy to be stuck in it. But I do also like me some Android. Even though the OS isn't on any of my daily drivers, I'm a fan. I actually used an Android phone as my daily driver, but it just got too complicated syncing with my Mac apps and Android apps. But I've always kept an Android device around in some form. And I'm not going to date myself with the device that I was using as my daily driver long ago either. So today I want to take a moment to appreciate the Google Pixel OS because there are things here that I really like and some things I don't. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. The iOS Android debate will rage on and that's good. It helps both operating systems get better and I think we all benefit from that. iOS is iOS and Android has different versions of their OS from Samsung to Motorola. I thought we'd look at Google's pure Android today. I'm going to use my Google Pixel 7 but I don't want to talk about hardware too much here. It's a 6.3 screen running Android 14. It's got a Google Tensor, G2 chipset, 50 megapixel rear camera, and a horrible underscreen fingerprint reader. This fingerprint reader is really finicky, but I will say that I've been using it more. It does seem to be responding better. Okay, enough about the hardware. That's all I'm gonna talk about that. Let's get into the Android UI. Okay, let's look at the Google Pixel and the UI because I, I think it's just really well designed. It's very minimal. Um, we're going to start with the screen, the lock screen, which I think is something that I've always appreciated on Google phones. And I wish um, the iPhone had a, a lock screen that was as simple as this. Um, they are getting better at it but it's still not the same and, and maybe it shouldn't be um, because this is kind of like classic Google where the home screen on an iOS phone is classic Apple but um, just the, the fact that you can add things like the the static time it's it's very well laid out um, you can change the time on this and have it show it a different way but you've got just simple information like the date the weather a forecast you can have some other widgets on here as well the fingerprint screen is um, crazy drives me crazy actually worked really well that time I love the way this shuts off too um, when you put the, hit the power button on the right hand side the way the screen just kind of collapses to the power button I think is really cool um, and then the icons just overall design um, and the ability to have wallpapers and think anyone really does live wallpapers anymore but um, the fact that you can have these wallpapers that change every day and they're always available if I go into wallpapers and then have themed icons which is just a default setting that you have available and you can go into more wallpapers and choose from different options that are here um, you actually have the ability to do something like this with a shortcut on iOS but uh, I think the latest iOS broke it and then it might be back I think focus modes actually broke it um, that functionality but I did have that running on my iPhone for a while where it would change wallpapers um, I had it going to a wallpaper site and pulling a wallpaper every day um, so it was kind of simulating this but uh, this is just out of the box you can have this and you can choose different colors for your icons and I, I think that's a really nice touch uh, and you can see the icons here are themed to the wallpaper that is here. So if I were to switch um, a couple of apps that I would for sure have, one password, Spark would be my default um, personal email, and then I use Carrot Weather, so I would use that. And I would probably go with OneNote, uh, Microsoft OneNote for my notes, because I couldn't have Apple Notes and Bear Notes, which are my two favorite iOS note-taking apps 
I would go with uh, one note because that would probably be the, my third pick on uh, on iOS as well. If you're in the Google ecosystem, so if you have a Gmail account and you're kind of set with a Pixel because you can get you can use Gmail. Gmail works fantastic. Um, Google Photos will sync up to your Apple Photos if you um, or iPhone Photos if you, you still have those and you need to make that transition. Um, and then even Google Calendar is is easy to use and is really nice and it's simple. So something like on iOS where you have Fantastical, um, Google Calendar works just fine. You can use this and have all your information there and the, the color coordination of different calendars that you might be using are all there within the app. Um, and then of course it supports RCS, so it's not iMessage, but you can get RCS off of this. Uh, the camera is even really nice because if you go to the camera there's different options for like portrait and night night sight if you go to video you can do blur and slow down well i hope you enjoyed that look at android os or specifically the android google pixel ui interface i think it's just such a nice interface and they're like i said things that i really wish would go over to iOS and some things that I don't want to see in iOS um, and some things I think are better in iOS. But if you are looking for a, a Google phone or an Android phone, if you're thinking about a Pixel, one guy, one Apple guy's opinion is uh, I think they're great phones. I think you would really benefit from it. If you're not really tied into the Apple ecosystem, uh, a Pixel is a great device to pick up. Samsung phones are really good as well. You can see in comments from my other video, a lot of people have uh, Samsung devices, they love them. And I actually have a, a Samsung flip phone that I use as well. And I love that device too. So um, I just wanted to show you the OS on the, the Pixel side, show you that it's not a, an Android iOS thing. Uh, I can definitely appreciate the Android OS and I think it has some great features to it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everyone and we'll talk to you soon.